There it is, meal prepping. Got some stroops, got some clips, variety of meals. Going with oatmeal, some peanut butter. You have a lot of kung pao chicken. Panda signature ramen. And uh, got this creme brulee, real good from Backpackers Pantry. That's the only actual dessert I got, even though I could classify Cliff Bars as dessert. All right, folks, how we doing? Turkey season is officially over. Uh, right now I am heading much deeper into Idaho than where I live in order to hunt bears for the first time ever in my life. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, I'm gonna be the first one up in the area, so I'm checking out accesses. Uh, my buddy Nick and I have been e-scouting and trying to figure all this stuff out. Um, we've never hunted together, but we were both going bear hunting this week and said, why wouldn't we just go together? So he's not going to get in until around 11 p.m. I'll be into the area at 8 p.m. So should have three hours to try to figure it out. Send him an in-reach message once I find the right access. So... Yeah, he called the ranger station and like the, the area we want to go to real bad. Uh, the ranger said we wouldn't be able to get to within 25 miles. We talked to him on Monday, but it is Friday now. So if we could get at least close to there, maybe hike the road in the rest of the way or something like that, and then get out into the wilderness, that would work too. Uh, we're just trying to get away from people and we've never done this before. so. We are gonna cover ground, obviously glass, but cover more ground than I think you typically would on a bear hunt because we just don't know where they are. So, got the pack loaded down, nine days of food, nine days of everything. That's a lot heavier than I was hoping. I definitely need to invest in some lighter gear, but it all comes with time, all comes with the territory. I like to hunt too much, so I can't really buy much gear. Um, so, anyway, well, yeah, stay tuned. Gonna head up there and see what I can figure out. Should be uh, should be a sweet week. Weather looks good, and new country in the mountains uh, can't really beat it. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> in the morning met these guys at about 11 30 last night side of the road did a little truck sleeping and now i think we're gonna head up here pretty soon and start hunting it's just getting light now or start hiking i should say not start hunting anyway stay tuned oh that's fun we aren't going to be able to get where we wanted to, but we think we're just going to hike this road in because there's about two sets of UTV tracks in here and that's it. Um, we're going to go drop a vehicle off probably an hour and a half away, so that's fine. Sketchy stuff, pretty far from from the actual road right here. So or we weren't worried about getting in. We're way more worried about getting out. So yeah, and now that we've worn the path down, that's not gonna help getting out right now. Right now is our best shot at getting out, hands down. This ain't good. This ain't good at all, boys and girls. 
sketchy. He's stuck. So my mind's uh, probably worth like seven now. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> That's what they are nowadays, I know. I beat the hell out of mine though, as you can probably tell by how fast I was driving on the roads. So yeah, it's been a real fiasco of a morning. Hoping these guys make it through that snow. Well, Taylor got stuck once. And yeah, there's just a lot of snow. And we could probably get back to where we wanted to because it opens up pretty soon, but we're gonna play it safe and back up and park the truck somewhere. A lot of snow up here, which means the water isn't really an issue. So that's good. Well, I don't hear him coming. So, I can have him with the tow rope because I'm not taking the truck back down. So this was a bad idea to keep going, but you live with your decisions. Well, I'll just, I'll go grab my truck. Yeah, that, that short spot right there, we can pull him out from. You don't have to worry about getting stuck. So this is turning into a real fiasco. Nick's stuck now. We tried to pull Taylor out again. He got stuck again. Now I have to pull him out. Hold on. I'm gonna pull you hard because I can't just sit here and spin. It isn't good. We gotta get out of here because this stuff's melting. If not, I guess we're parked here for a while and we'd have to, yeah, we can park on the side of the road somewhere here and uh, hike in and you'd have to hike back and leave in the dark probably when it's frozen. Back up quite a ways. Okay, then you'll have a good start. Oh, oh, I know. One more. Time. One more. Freaking cluster, dude. I've been stuck like eight times now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh you get it on video. Well, yeah, I'm just using my phone right now until we, because I don't want to waste the battery. Yeah. How's it been so far, Nick? Good. <laughs> Got a lot of hunting done. <laughs> Hell yeah. Here we go, she is loaded down, boys and girls. I've never had it this full before. Just about to take off, finally. I don't know what time it is, probably 10 o'clock. Next, just about ready over here, aren't we? Yep. A couple minutes, I'll be ready. GoPro along, but we'll yeah. see how much I actually I have filmed. a GoPro in there, too. Do you? Do you? Nice. Yeah, I, I just started a YouTube channel in March. 
Oh, nice. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, I did a bunch of turkey hunts. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Somebody must have been trying to keep us away. Bear safety food storage precautions strongly recommended between March 1st and December 1st. Good. We're in that window. Just hike it in. We got uh, a few miles of dark timber before we break out into some open stuff. Hasn't been too bad though. Look at that. Right on the old trail. Oh yeah. I don't know what I'm going to cook them with, but I'm definitely picking them. Look at the size of that one. We gotta pick these morels. What's that? Morels right here. Oh. Check it out. And right behind you. Oh yeah. Good morel patch here. I don't really know if I'm gonna pick them right now, maybe on the way out. Yeah. Cause I don't have anything to cook them with yet. <laughs> I brought foil. No butter or oil though? No, I didn't. I thought about it and then, no, I didn't. Yeah. Those things you gotta put down the I know. Maybe <laughs> I mean, I'll just mark them and then there'll still be more when we come back, probably. Yeah. More of them. And we're leaving them here. <laughs> we don't have any oil. I said I'd get them on the way back. We'll probably find some more. As many as we've seen, I should think so. God, they look good. This is like killing me. <laughs> That's an awesome cluster of mushrooms. Yeah. There's a bizarre little deal. Yeah. Old woodpecker really got after this tree. I need some mulch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where to find it. It's just kind of a long pack out. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Taylor, the old spotter, even. Yeah, yeah, it's not a good one at all. But it's more magnified than mine. Yeah. Beautiful country. Gonna be a lot of this in the next few days. Water hunting. Gotta go find some water. Camp Creek was uh, not real. So, I'm doing a little jump, find some water to camp with tonight. We did find some water a lot further away than we thought. Just a guy doing a weird motion with his hands. <laughs> into a real hell hole here. Some big country. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a bear tonight. If we kill one, it's gonna be a heck of a haul out of here. Deadfall and real steep. Day one in the books. I don't know if I've ever been up here to lay down the last 500 yards took like forever tonight worst deadfall I think I've ever walked through 
No bear seen, but didn't hunt that much today. I think we're gonna go hike about four or five miles further into a different area. I don't know how far we are right now, probably six, seven in. That's gonna be our limit. And then we might, uh, if we aren't seeing bears, then we're gonna truck it back to the trucks. Probably start doing shorter hikes into stuff just to hunt. But all in all, a fun day. Saw some cool country out here in the wilderness. Pretty fun. All right, Nick, what's the plan? Gonna hike up to the creek and hopefully set up camp there and find some water and then we're gonna do some hunting. I have to bleep that out now. How far are we in? Six? Probably right, yeah, pretty close. Right at six and we're gonna walk three. three? Yeah. Which isn't bad, and then we're gonna try to just establish a base camp for the next couple days. That seems like the smartest, just so we can uh, hunt from there and kinda chill. Yesterday kinda sucked. Especially when we got into the deadfall. So, it looks right. It's good country. We just gotta get eyes on one. A lot more of a slog than we were hoping. There's a lot of snow. A lot of post holing. But we're almost to our peak elevation. Then we bust out in the open, so that'll help a lot. There's that snow. It's pretty miserable. Pretty deep. Kinda sucks. Dude, he's pretty, isn't he? Yeah. See if he does anything. I'll move toward him. I can get him with my bow. Yeah. <laughs> Little spruce grass. Have to mark the waypoint, come back in the fall with the pointers. Yeah, we see a couple of them. Do <laughs> some backcountry. Backcountry grousing wolf track right there so after several miles of post holing we made it to where we're gonna camp in this burn area there's a creek down down the hill here um, finally made it here old Taylor he stayed back I'm checking my phone here he stayed back and he's gonna take his time coming up to camp here um, and his request, his big request, was to be able to glass from camp, so we got that. Check it out there. Pretty good hillside, some good slides in here. Burn, nice basin up top, more burn here. Um, I mean, it sucks, you gotta kinda glass through the trees, but I think Nick and I are gonna try to hunt this drainage right now. Just be glassing for the next few hours, moving around, finding different spots to glass from. And then, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do this evening. We'll just play it by ear. We might stay in this area. Um, and then we have a couple miles further, we have several real good basins to look into. Um, we saw a lot of wolf sign, but a lot of wolf sign once we got in this burn. But we have not seen any bear sign yet, so I don't know. Just keep putting eyes on country. I think that's all you can do. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, this will be base camp for, we said, two days for sure. So yeah, we'll do two days here. We're probably going to hike up and hunt that area two miles further. We don't really want to go any further with camp. That slog from... Our last camp to this camp was absolutely horrible. Post holing, tons of snow in the timber. So, luckily the deadfall in this burn area is a lot smaller, especially in the hell hole we were in yesterday. Pretty easy getting around. So, alrighty. Just gotta keep grinding. That's all you can do. We have no idea where bears live here, so we're just trying. Country looks right. I'm just gonna show you the heat I've been packing. It's a 500 Smith and Wesson. 
Alaska Backpacker Extreme. It's sweet, got that grizzly engraved on it. Here's the round it shoots. The real behemoth. I haven't shot it yet. I want to shoot it just to test it out. My buddy Sean's, he let me borrow it. Pretty sweet pistol. Real heavy. I'd say with that in the shells and that holster, chest holster, it's an extra five pounds, but I wasn't going to go in with that one. Thought you fell in. It's got some water. <laughs> About walked really far down into the drainage as it goes down. It gets super steep and I looked around and I was like, I don't want to come back up this. So. Oh, you were just going to check it out? No, I just kind of... Accidentally? Yeah, that. I started heading the wrong way a little bit. Wasn't paying attention. All right, well, we have water now. Quickly learning that bear hunting is more about uh, the food and snacks you took than anything. Glassing's kind of boring. <laughs> A lot of ramen. 18 cents. The brand name is uh, Panda Signature Walmart. Hot buy. Next snack, coconut stroop waffle. Ooh, good. Yeah, it's bomb. Good dessert. It's been in the sun. Pro tip, heat them up in the sun. Oh, I don't know what that is. Those are some long fangs. Yeah, that last one, that's definitely some sort of Painted. Yeah. Be a fox. Maybe. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool school. You gonna hollow it out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty windy. But we uh, we hiked over here to get a shot at the other side of the ridge. Looks pretty good. I don't know what looks good though. So I'm just going off what I've seen on TV. I'm looking for steep slopes green grass, dark timber next to it. We're going to keep trying. I have not seen any bear sign. That's pretty bad. I had to head back to camp. Nick spilled off out of drainage. Um, I didn't really want to go down there. There's kind of an opening, but I want a glass up here. Start real soon. So I came back to camp to get my rifle. So I was just filming him, but I figured better have this, the old boomstick along, the old lever action, 308 Marlin Express, the old bear killer. Well, we got to our glassing spot here for the evening, and it's, uh, it's very exciting, mostly because of the three-course meal that I'm going to prepare. Starting the appetizer, peaches and cream flavor, instant oatmeal. My second oatmeal of the day. I had a bonus oatmeal, bananas and cream, which was decent. I hate bananas, but I like banana flavoring. But I didn't eat it yesterday, so I got to have it this morning. And now I get uh, the bonus. Then the main course, which I am uh, real excited for. Beef stroganoff. Take a look at that. Hardy. Needed after the past two days. Oh, dropped her there. And then top it off with dessert. The best flavor of Cliff Bar. Cool mint chow. Hands down the best flavor. And then I might even have a cup of coffee when it starts to cool off. I've realized that's what bear hunting is. Well, bear hunting is a ton of hiking. Actually drive first, then you probably get stuck. Oh, there's something down there. And then it's a ton of hiking. Let's see, that's a critter.
Yeah. You know, if I saw something down there, I probably could move on it in, you know, 30 minutes and... Across the drainage? Yeah. So it's very doable if we see one to just go? Yeah. I mean, there. you might as well. Down there for sure. Yeah. So anyway. Like gas coming back up, like I just did, but... Yeah. But, you gotta make a move on them, you gotta make a move on them. Yeah. So yeah, it was Nick that was down there back to what bear hunting is. Bear hunting is uh, driving, a ton of hiking, sitting around with binoculars, and getting excited about eating weird little meals. That's what I've uh, come up with so far. Good views though. This is it. Bear hunting. Eating and glassing. Be struggling off pretty good. Well, the day is winding down. Tomorrow morning we have a plan to go up to this mountain. That one. We've been kind of glassing. He scouted that area. And looks like we can glass down some good stuff. But we haven't seen bear crap, bear tracks, a bear. So, if we uh, if we don't come across anything in the morning, I think we're gonna back out of here and try to regroup. Mm -hmm.